on mat two is between Anton Janine and Sven Marish. And you may think that Sven Marish is lowly ranked at 98. Well, that's his rank position. But I can tell you, he's a high quality player. He's second only in Germany to the Olympic champion Ole Bischoff. And that should tell you something about the quality of the fighter that, um, um, that's on the map. And he's up against Antoine Janine on the adjoining map, on map three. And the under 63 kilo category, you've got Vera Koval of Russia up against Claudia Ahrens. We'll try and bring you that um, information on that map. And down on map uh, one in the uh, under 73 kilo category, it's David Papo of Switzerland and, and uh, Attila Ungvari. The difficult thing that we've got sometimes, I'm hope, hoping to bring you as much um, uh, variety of judo as possible with different mats. But it means sometimes that if a contest ends quickly and we go to another one, then we join it with 30 seconds to go. Um, or we have to join you know, at, at an awkward time. And sometimes it's better to try to keep the, the, the flow of watching a particular category for maybe five, six, seven matches. You watch one round and then you've got a good idea of who is doing what in a particular category. And we've tried many times before to jump from one mat to another mat to another mat and we end up really not providing you with a continuity of watching uh, a whole category. When you're in the stadium, it's quite easy to turn your head and watch, you know, one, two or three matches at a time. You can keep up with everything. When you're broadcasting, it's a little bit trickier um, because you then have to get cameramen uh, to... Um, move, change over, pick up a contest at a, at a particular time when you, you don't know what's happened. You haven't got the flow of the contest. So as much as possible, when we move, we try to move and join a contest right at the beginning. So you get to see it from start um, to finish. And we try not to jump in the middle of a contest. So... I'm sorry if it doesn't always work out and you don't always get to see, um, you know, every um, match that you want. But there are, I think, 32 different countries here. So for us to try and please every nation is extremely tricky. And there are four weight categories um, here today. So you can imagine the number of um, different countries, different competitors that we're being asked to show. And we try as much as possible um, to, you know, get you to see what you want. So I apologize if that's not always um, the case. So here it's Antoine Janine and Sven Marish. And Janine picks up a warning for passivity. no chance of giving a score for that that was a, a genuine miss on uh, Janine's part and he had really no um, no control when Maresh was coming down and in any event Maresh really didn't land on a part of his body that would uh, be classed as for scoring purposes anyway I'm talking about his backside <laughs> that doesn't do it you need a little bit more of the body than just someone's bum, so no score for that. Yeah. 
a minute and 11 seconds to go. Those of you that follow cricket will know that 111 is uh, called Nelson. I don't think that has any significance in judo. It's, o it's all over in such a short space of time that I don't think you can uh, say I think something's going to happen here. It normally happens in um, blocks. So you come into the last, say, 50 seconds. Just as you've passed that minute mark, something happens. Or into the last 20 seconds. Or if you're really unfortunate, something happens in the last five. Claudia Arens of Germany has just lost out to Vera Koval of Russia. into the last 20 seconds well is this one of those points then where one of the fighters is going to be able to pull something out or maybe we're going to end up in golden score with this one Sernagi is ineffective from Janine and it, I think it is going to be golden score So we're going to need a little bit more time to sort this one out. The upcoming contests um, on our Mat 2 in the under-81s under are Siyashenka of Belarus against Christoph Keller, Alias Sede of Slovenia against Jorge Benavante of Spain, and then Ewan Burton of Great Britain against Guillaume Elmont of the Netherlands. And I think... I don't think you can argue with that kind of quality. Sierschenko, Sede, Burton, Elmont. You know, we could just easily, very easily stick and show just the under 81s because we're reaching that stage where all of these have really got good medal chances. On the adjoining mats, Marcel Trudov is due to fight Hugo Legrand. Dirk van Tickelt against Zaza Kedilashvili. That's a super contest. And Joao Pina against Christoph Wilkomerski. That should be one that we can go to. We're just really spoilt for choice. And then down on mat three, um, Svetlana Cheporina of the Ukraine is up against Elizabeth Villabordze of the Netherlands. And then um, coming up is Linda Bolder against Olesia. Uh, of Seychuk. That's in the uh, repechage though, so they're already reaching that stage. We're going to stick with the um, the round by round contests and the eliminations. And at the moment, as I said, it's uh, Antoine Janine and Sven Maresh. They're now in golden score in the men's under 81 kilo category. Hello to um, Ramon Gomez Ferra. Uh, it wasn't Yamashita. And uh, Stefan Zabo, it wasn't Duye. A lot of people thought that the question that we posed was Duye. But, um, twice, but not three times. Andy Burton, well, I hope your, um, your brother goes all the way today. He's up in three fights time on uh, mat two we're watching mat two it's the under 81 kilo category he's up against Guillaume Elmont uh, in his next match and uh, we'll see whether we can um, can bring you that Well, the Frenchman has scored um, a Yuko after a real battle. It's Janine who steals the contest, really. 
and um, he'll go into the next round. Good tough battle and um, they both avoided picking up penalties. That was a nice, uh, nice effort from both fighters there. 